Blood Money is a side-scrolling shooter video game developed by DMA Design. It was published by Psygnosis in 1989 for the Amiga, Atari Street and MS-DOS, and in 1990 for the Commodore 64. The game is set in four different locations on a planet, where players are tasked with attacking the enemies and defeating the bosses. The game began development immediately after Menace, and borrowed similar gameplay elements. The development team used advanced hardware to develop Blood Money, using improved graphical and technological processes. The game was inspired by the presentation of Mr. Heli, and the animations of Blood Money would later inspire the development of Lemmings. The game was released to positive reviews, praise was given to the game's graphics and gameplay. The game was also commercially successful, selling over 40,000 copies. Gameplay Blood Money is a horizontal side-scrolling shooter that uses 2D computer graphics. Players move through four stages on the planet, taking control of a different vehicle in each level, a helicopter in the metal world, a submarine in a water world, a spacesuit in an ice world, and a fighter jet in a fire world. Each vehicle features unique weaponry, which players use to attack all advancing enemies. Players can upgrade their vehicle with power-ups, which grant them additional weapons and upgrades, such as support missiles and neutron bombs. The vehicle's energy acts as player's health, and is depleted when the vehicle makes contact with enemies and walls. When all energy is lost, players lose a life, three lives are provided at the beginning of the game, and additional lives can be collected as players progress through the levels. When all three lives are lost, the game ends and players are sent to the title screen. The first two levels may be selected from the beginning of the game. After one level is complete, players can select any remaining world without restrictions. At the end of each level, players must defeat a boss. Topic: <laughs> Development. Following the successful release of Menace in 1988, David Jones began developing Blood Money on 4 January 1989, on the 25 MHz 386-DX computer that publisher Psygnosis granted him. Alongside a personal development system, Jones saw Blood Money as a further development of the concept used in Menace. Jones was heavily inspired by the cuteness of Mr. Heli during the development of Blood Money. The game's cover art was designed by British artist Peter Andrew Jones for the novel Protector 1973 by Larry Niven, and was adapted for the game's cover. With Blood Money, Jones was determined to use the full color range of the Amiga, opting to use the blitter as opposed to the hardware scrolling. The blitter allowed graphics to be drawn quickly. Tony Smith, who had worked on Menace, produced the graphics for Blood Money, while Jones began work on a new scrolling system. While developing his own game, Talisman, Mike Daly created a compact method to move enemies on screen, which Jones incorporated into Blood Money. The game's animations fascinated Jones' friend Gary Timmons, who then began experimenting with Deluxe Paint. His work on the program led to his employment at DMA Design, and inspired some of the animations used in DMA's next game, Walker 1993. The game's introduction required a star field, which Jones took from a quick demonstration that Daly had been working on. The game was ported to the PC by Tim Ansell of Creative Assembly, and to Atari Street by Jones' friend Wayne Smithson, while Daly began porting the game to the Commodore 64 following the Personal Computer World Show in September 1989. Daly used the code from the Talisman demo, and wrote a new sprite system. He also reworked the multi-directional scrolling, and wrote his own tape-loading routines, wanting one that allowed players to play a simple game while Blood Money loaded. Smith designed the graphics for the port, and became confused by the limitations of the hardware. He had to draw double pixels in deluxe paint, and was limited to 16 colors. Daly finished developing the Commodore 64 version of Blood Money on 12 March 1990. Reception Blood Money received mostly positive reviews from critics upon release, particularly for its gameplay, graphical design, and sound. Gary Barrett of Saint, Amiga Format wrote that the game is the best shoot-em-up game on the Amiga. ZZAP, 64 listed Blood Money as the best Amiga game of the 1980s, and Saint Format named it the second best shoot-em-up game of 1990. 
The game sold 40,000 copies, which is double the sales of Menace. Stuart Wynn of ZZAP, 64 found the game, superb to play, while Robin Hogg of the same publication wrote that it, measures up, to the game's, brilliant, graphics. The one found the game to be among the, most challenging and technically accomplished, shoot 'em ups, while Ace called it, compelling. Conversely, Mike Pattenden of CU Amiga criticized the difficulty, noting its lack of rewards. Critics praised the game's graphical qualities. Paul Glancy of Computer and Video Games lauded the game's opening sequence, and called the sprites among the best designed and most fluidly animated in an Amiga game. The game's machine found the graphics utterly impressive, and Barrett of Saint, Amiga Format wrote that the game is in a class of its own, praising the sprite animations. ZZAP, 64's Hog commended the animation and backgrounds. Conversely, CU Amiga's patent and felt that the graphics lacked depth, the game's use of sound received positive reactions. Phil King of ZZAP, 64 was impressed by the soundtrack, particularly praising the introductory music. The game's machine echoed similar remarks, writing that the game features excellent sound, and Glenn C of Computer and Video Games wrote that the sound chip was to bloomin' good use. Barrett of Saint, Amiga format preferred the sound effects over the music, though felt that they were inferior to those in Menace. Pattenden of CU Amiga felt that the sound is a poor tune and some average effects, while Ace called it a little weedy. 